Hello, brothers and sisters in the Lord. Um, I pray everybody's having a wonderful day, night in the Lord. Um, something that the Lord wanted me to share here on YouTube was following the fire, following his fire. Uh, what he spoke to me, and I didn't quite understand it at first until uh, he, give, he gave me the revelation of what he was trying to speak to me and also to share uh, with the body of Christ and to edify, edify and encourage the body of Christ in these last days. So following the fire, okay, immediately the Lord brought me to Exodus chapter 13, verses um, 21 and 22. I'm going to read it out of the King James Version Bible first, and then I'll read it out of the NIV. This is the King James Version. And it reads, And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud to lead them the way and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light to go by day and night he took not away the pillar of the cloud by day nor the pillar of fire by night from before the people okay and that was King James Version. I'm going to read it out of the NIV Version as well. Okay, Exodus chapter 13, verse 21 and 22. Okay. By day the Lord went ahead of them in a pillar of cloud to guide them on their way. And by night in a pillar of fire to give them light so that they could travel by day or night neither the pillar of cloud by day nor the pillar of fire by night left its place in front of the people so God was always ahead of of the people of his people okay now how does this apply to us in the new Testament in the New Covenant. Well, God has given us the Holy Spirit, and we know God is a consuming fire. God does not change. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So the same way as the as God guided His people by fire, in the same way we are guided by the Holy Spirit fire, which we are blessed with. And should take advantage and seek Him. Because it is a wonderful, glorious feeling that is unexplainable. You have to feel the Lord's presence uh, move you. And it is a wonderful feeling. Uh, it's out of this world. I just, I love Jesus so much. And I pray that everybody seeking Jesus, you know, every day. Seeking more of this fire. You know, um, because when we're we're filled with this fire, any sin, any temptation that Satan comes to try to tempt us to fall, we have that fire burning inside of us to burn that temptation out of our way and rebuke Satan and to cast him out, to, to tell him to get behind us. Just like Jesus told us, uh, uh, Satan to get behind them when he was, uh, I believe it was Peter he told them. Okay? Um, that is what we are to do, brothers and sisters, is follow the fire. Follow his fire. God is a consuming fire. We need to be consumed with God every day, especially now in these last days, more than ever before. 
I was off YouTube and Facebook for about, I believe, maybe one and a half to two weeks. And Satan was attacking me in dreams, in many situations, um, you know, just left and right, okay, to try to get me to sin. Um, he's tried to use family members, friends. Uh, co-workers, Satan will use anybody uh, to tempt you to get you to sin. But see, when we have that, when we are have that fire, when we are following His fire, God's fire, and we get consumed by His Spirit, okay, then it is a lot more easier when we become less and we become filled with God's Spirit. And just increase in him every day and and we must have victory over any temptation over any sin because God is faithful and his blood cleanses all sin there's no sin that that cannot cleanse or there's, there's no sin there's no sin that, that the blood of Christ cannot be cleansed with okay the blood of Jesus cleanses cleanses us inside out, okay, it purifies us, sanctifies us, so I pray that this is an encouragement, edification, uh, this is new to me, so I am learning as well, um, we are to follow his spirit, when we do that we get consumed by his fire, so the main message is here, keep following his fire for our God is a consuming fire. I love you all. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen.